Hands up to your side. Yeah. You're going to be shoulder to shoulder. So if there's a little bit of space, just come in very slightly. There you go. The duties of uh, the team photographer for us here are really uh, expansive. Excellent. Here you go. Last one. Just look right here. Nice smiles. Everybody looks great. Perfect. All done. Thank you. It's not just the games that need to get covered. Okay, here we go. But it's also different avenues that we use to communicate with the fan base. Many sports fans surely daydream on what it would be like to roam the sidelines of their favorite sport and get paid while doing it. Today, a few lucky soccer enthusiasts will get to live the life of a Galaxy sports photographer through a special collaboration between Canon and the LA Galaxy. Even though we're focusing on soccer for the weekend, I think that you'll be able to take the things that you learn and apply them to different types of photography that you're doing. Titled the Sports Workshop Experience, this immersive training course takes place over three days and includes an opportunity to shoot on the sidelines at the upcoming Galaxy game. Robert Mora, the team's photographer, is overseeing this year's workshop. For their customers to come out and shoot a game and learn some of the challenges that we face. It's a really incredible opportunity, so we were excited to do it. My goal is to use my soccer knowledge, because I do play soccer, and I want to use that to anticipate shots and try to really surprise myself and see what I can uh, get out of that. You just put a whole lot of pressure on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Once Mora finished his orientation, the next step in the course would be actual hands-on shooting at tonight's Galaxy 2 game against the Sacramento Republic back in Carson. But first, the participants were provided with another wonderful perk by the Canon staff. So remind me what you have. I have a 7D, the original, okay. and a 70 to 200. Okay. In addition to using their own gear, these photographers also have the opportunity to shoot with the latest and greatest Canon technology, including the EOS 1DX Mark II, telephoto lenses ranging from the 600 millimeter to the 200 and 400 millimeter lens, all sorts of great opportunities to get and make sure they capture the shot that they're looking to get. The second part of the day is getting out to an LA Galaxy 2 game. It's professional competition. The action is very fast paced, but it's also the opportunity not to come into an overwhelming environment. And it gives John and I the opportunity to work with them individually so that we can help them for when they come into the MLS game, do a better job. I try to be as compact as possible when I have to move. I've got my little seat. As soon as I'm in position, I'll get it set eye level. I'll have it where I, where I feel comfortable, where I can move. I have my short lens for everything that happens in front of me. We wanted to make sure that they understood how challenging it was to switch from a very tight, long lens that they're looking down the field to a short lens that Here. they can shoot action Shooting. in front of them. Ball comes down, I grab it. I can switch really fast. I got everything in front of me. It's something that every sports photographer has to be able to do quickly. It was important for me to try to get the participants to understand that it's very difficult to get used to the autofocus and the challenges of that. We started off with just a quick little drill so they could get used to tracking how fast action could come at them. Ready? Here we go. Did you guys get it? Let me see what you got. I oh, didn't let's... get anything on this. You didn't get anything? Uh-uh. <laughs> Soccer is challenging to shoot because the ball moves across the field very quickly. Just how fast the athletes move and the difficulty in keeping up with where the ball is. It's going to come back to the middle. See, there it goes. All right. The more experience you have doing it, you get better at anticipating. Okay, he's going to attack down the wing now. Okay, good isolation shots of him right here. here. Ready? Looking for a teammate. Action, there it goes. Okay, it's coming into the box. It's also very mentally challenging because you're trying to stay focused and not discouraged. 70 to 200, have it ready. Ah. It's challenging, isn't it? It's hard. It's very, it's very <laughs> difficult to go from the, that far side of the field to what's happening in front of you when it switches sides. That's why I'm saying a key part of what you're doing is feeling comfortable going from one lens to the next. The best thing that you can do is just get yourself situated so it's comfortable for you, so you feel like you can grab that short lens with ease. 
they did find the struggle and they did find how challenging it was to actually follow and capture the imagery. Is it still working out? You get it? Yeah, the rhythm of it? Yeah. From that position where the ball's at, he's going to put the ball in the box. The metering, okay. if it's on spot meter, it's going to it's gonna really mess you up. Everything feels smooth so far? Yeah, the more I use it, the more I'm getting comfortable realizing where this is so I can zoom in and out faster. It's different, right? All right, so we'll head in. We'll just kind of get settled for a little bit and we'll have a quick chat, see where you guys are at. With tonight's dress rehearsal completed, the students would head back for Mora's critique of their day's work and look forward to shooting the return of Landon Donovan in front of a capacity crowd in Sunday's match against Orlando SC.